Welcome back everybody to another Tip Thursday with me, Connor Klein. And in this one, I'm going to be outlining my language journey with Russian, how I learned it, and why you should think about learning it too, why you really need to learn it if you're gonna come here to cities like Odessa on the Black Sea, um, here in Park Shevchenko. That of course is Taras Shevchenko, the national poet of Ukraine. And yeah, so that's actually a reason to learn Ukrainian, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, in this story, we're gonna be talking about why I learned Russian. Here in Odessa, people in general speak Russian, even though we are in Ukraine in their daily life, and I even do speak some Ukrainian. I have gone to Lviv and learned it. You can see that in a previous video. If you don't speak Russian, because I'm gonna speak in Russian in parts, there are of course subtitles below. So with that said, let's get into it. I'm going to be showing you why you should learn Russian like I have. So if you're looking for a way to correct your pronunciation, especially in Russian, then I want you to go down to the description below the video and click on the link there for Speechling, uh, which is a service I've been using myself to help me with my pronunciation when I've been traveling away from the Russian speaking countries. So what happens there is, by the way, you're gonna get a 10% discount with my special ZAR18 discount code. So that's another reason to go and sign up. Uh, so go check it out in the description. But basically what happens is that you can uh, speak into the platform, right? The app or on the desktop and send your pronunciation to a native speaker teacher who will then give you feedback on the mistakes that you're making with pronunciation and how to correct them. Uh, and then you can listen to yourself again speaking and you know, train yourself to actually pick up on your own mistakes. I find it a really valuable way for me personally to prove my pronunciation. So there's a link in the description below. Всем привет из Киева, Украина. Меня зовут Коннор. Я родился в Ирландии. В этом видео я буду говорить о моем опыте с с русским языка. Когда я приехал первый раз в Украине без русского языка, без украинского языка, была кошмар. Не мог говорить с людьми здесь на улице в городе в Украине. Не мог не мог запрыгнуть квартиру, такси. Было очень трудно. Я хочу, что вы видите, если вы хотите изучать русский язык или путешествовать э, по Украине, по Молдавии, по России, по Беларуси, что как э, вечение, какое вечение э, будет, если вы тоже э, говорите по-русски и не всегда на английском, когда вы путешествуете. So what I'm trying to communicate with you here is that, first of all, don't be scared to try and run, learn Russian because even if it's really difficult in the beginning, the rewards will really make it worthwhile over the long run. I could never have had as many amazing experiences here in a place like Odessa in Ukraine if I had only just stuck to English on my travels. And also, as I've talked about in other videos here in Odessa in Ukraine in particular, if you rely on English, you kind of get lumped in with the kind of tourist crowd and that's not seen in a very positive light because this is a very touristic city. Also, if you're a guy coming here, not being able to open a conversation and at least open it in Russian is a big disadvantage because a lot of girls just get hit on all the time in English by sleazy tourists and that's kind of who you get lumped in with. So that's what you want to avoid, I'm sure. But more than that, it's also allowed me to avoid the main tourist traps here, like getting ripped off, maybe even been robbed or been beaten up. And just by speaking the language, you can kind of avoid all of those issues, I think overall, at least in my experience when, as I talked about in my podcast series, the first trip I had a lot of like mishaps, a lot of uh, things happened to me, like I was drugged and <laughs> unconscious for 36 hours. Uh, I wasn't robbed, fortunately, on that occasion. Someone tried to steal my cell phone on another occasion. A lot of this was happening because I just seemed like a very naive tourist. And to a certain extent, that was of course true. It's my first time here. And I didn't speak the language very well. I only had a smattering of Russian at the time and that really held me back. What I try to do in part here on my channel is to inspire you and that also goes for learning Russian or Ukrainian or another language here in the wider region like maybe Romanian that you're interested in learning. Definitely you should not be put off. The alphabet is what people first of all always say to me, listen the alphabet will take you kind of like a week to learn maximum. It's not that hard, it's not that scary so definitely don't let that put you off and overall if you're gonna spend any sort of time here or maybe go out and date or even marry someone from the region, it's always better to have that language under your belt.
So my, the way in Russian. Я начал изучать русский язык в Вашингтоне, в Америке. Я там был в университете, изучил международные отношения, но я был самый плохой студент в этой уроке. Русский был одинаковый, и у меня нет, извините. Нет ничего, спасибо. Спасибо. Я знаю сейчас. So there you see uh, where my Russian skills come in a little bit um, handy. It's dealing with pan landlords right here who are asking me for money. No. No. Не могу вам помочь. У меня нету. Я бедный. Ну хорошо. Может быть, ты тоже работаешь много, как я. Я работал юристом, но у меня было два раза каждый недельный уроки час стало час по скайпу. Было очень удобно для меня, и если у тебя много дела и мало времени, это очень хороший вариант. Да, это мой, моя история с русским языком. И сейчас я иду поголоть чуть-чуть. Давай. So what I'm really trying to impress on you in this video is just the importance of going for it and learning some Russian. Now you don't have to be Fluent. That's one misconception people have. It was really, really hard in the beginning. I had a lot of problems with taxis. For example, you used to have to call the taxi on the phone, and if you actually just went and tried to get one on, get one on the street, then you would have to negotiate. And if you don't speak at least, you know, low, low intermediate, high beginners Russian, they're going to fleece you. They're going to look for several times the price, and it's going to be very hard for you to avoid being. Uh, overcharged. It isn't the easiest language, I'm not going to kid you on that. It is easier to learn French or Spanish or German if you're a native English speaker. Uh, but the rewards, if you're traveling for this region, they're just really, really top. And that's the number one thing that I hear from you guys come up to me in the street is how do I overcome the language barrier uh, because they really struggle to communicate with people here. So with that said, I'm going to I'm not going to jump in the water like these guys have been doing <laughs> in the last few minutes, but I am going to enjoy this beautiful evening in Odessa. Uh, I'm here in Langeron, just came out of one of my favorite restaurants. If you haven't subscribed, well, you know, squeeze that red subscribe button. Give the video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and definitely whack the notification bell beside it so that you are notified whenever I upload a video here and I'm going to be making amazing content from Odessa. Got so much sick footage over the last few weeks here. It's going to be really my best uh, work in terms of the travel vlogs. They're all coming up in the next few weeks. So definitely hit that notification bell as well as being subscribed to the channel. I'll see all your smiling, enthusiastic faces for Eastern Europe in the next video coming up. Dispedania, Doppelbach.